please subscribe and click on the notification button so you could get our latest news. Happy listening. Pick your successor, Bakari Oj Buhari, the serving overseer, Cathedral Global Community Church, founder known as Lata Rain Assembly, Tunde Bakari, has urged the president, Major General Buhari, not to leave the choice of his successor to 20, in 2023 to chance. In a nationwide live broadcast in his church on Sunday, Bakari, who paid Buhari a visit last week, said it was important for the retired Major General to influence who would emerge his successor in 2023 so that his legacy would not be rubbished. Bakari Oj Buhari, Buhari has last year declared that he has no intention of grooming anyone to succeed him in office. Succession is very funny because if I did find anyone, I would create more problem for him or her. Let those who want to be president try as much as I did, Buhari has said last July. But Bakari, who has declared his intention to be Nigerian 16th president after Buhari, who is number 15, said there was a risk that a looter might take over if President Buhari did not deliberately plan and determine who his successor would be. Bakari said, God is not succession, God is not succession. Anyone in government that does not consider himself about succession is destroying his own legacy because the person coming after you can just mess up everything. Let us ask God for grace of, accu an, of an accurate successor that he, Buhari, will not hand over, to the, hand over the baton of the government or governance to thieves to corrupt and power drunk individuals, but those who are true patriots who will serve like our founding fathers served through through their perfect and best interests, putting Nigeria first. Bakari said by instituting a system of succession, Buhari will join the league, the league of strong world leaders like the late leader of China and late Nelson Mandela of South Africa. He said as a government as the government of President Muhammad Buhari ushers us into the second decade of the 21st century, the third objective of governance should be to build strong posts. Buhari legacy facilitate, facilitated by accurate succession. In this regard, Nigeria must learn from some of the best succession example in recent history. Of note is the legacy of the China successor, a second generation Chinese leader who led the foundation for today's China. In third degree, the program gave China a succession of leaders who plotted China economic transformation, including the present president, Ox Jong-un, without any foresight we would not be running to China today for finances or short-sightedness. Um, this is Bakari urging President Muhammad Buhari to pick a successor. Um, I don't know what you think about that. Picking a succession means that a successor means that our votes are irrelevant, are invalid. So it depends on Buhari to think who he deems fit to be the next president of Nigeria. But would that be called the rule of democracy? Can we call that democracy? Can we truly say that by doing that, you, the leader, picking your next successor, is democracy like all the world leaders, like all the leading nations, just like America in the United Kingdom, where leaders are voted in by the people. I want to hear your thoughts on what you think about what um, Bakari has said. If you think this is the way to go for Nigeria, for President Muhammad Buhari to pick his successor, rather than Nigeria determine and vote in who to be their next successor. Um, that's my opinion. I want to 
urge you all to please leave a comment respectfully in the comment section let's look at it together um is that the right thing do you think um uh, buhari has the, what it takes to pick the next successor has he been a great leader in your opinion let's look at this together as we make nigeria great again Thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed and sincerely and do appreciate you. If you have not, please do uh, leave a comment in the comment, se comment section. So don't forget to subscribe so that we can keep pushing Nigeria forward by speaking up against bad, bad governance and speaking up and congratulating and encouraging good governance. I want to appreciate you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and do have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye.